Ciao friends, in this video we'll share with you our favorite restaurants in Napoli. From breakfast to pizza to a crazy amazing restaurant for dinner, we'll cover it all. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please consider subscribing before we jump in. So the best way to get into the Italian culture is by going to the coffee shop and do what the locals do, get your coffee or cappuccino and just people watch. Uh, breakfast here is a quick affair, uh, you grab your coffee, you grab your sweets, you eat and go. And one of the most famous uh, coffee shops here, it's over 100 year old, is uh, Cafe Gambrinus and we came there to have our first uh, coffee of the day and it's a very beautiful place they have so many sweets and right now because it's close to christmas they also have very christmasy sweets so cheers Of course, the only thing that is more famous than Maradona here in Napoli is the Napolitan pizza. So we came to Il Mio Viaggio a Napoli, which is a very famous pizzeria, um, according to locals. We asked our friends who live here where they eat pizza and they highly recommended this. And look at this. This is not my Italian passport. So this is uh, their um, menu. And when I opened to the pizza and margarita pizza page is like seven bucks for a pizza coming from dc where we pay an arm and a leg to get pizza i'm, I'm like pleasantly surprised all right here is my pizza i've been looking forward to having my first bite of pizza mm. It's, it's really, really amazing. The taste of the sauce itself is insane. And of course, uh, mozzarella di bufala is from this area. So you get like the most amazing flavors from that. This one right here is calzone with a lot of good stuff inside. Let's see what's inside of it. Wow, it's overflowing. I see mozzarella cheese, meat, tomatoes. It smells so good. Wow, it's so soft and the ingredients are really fresh. I love the mozzarella, tomatoes and, and the meat, it's just delicious. We came on uh, Via Tribunale, which is a um, pedestrian only street and it's full of happy hour places with fresh seafood and um, drink and stuff, so we came to this place called La Tana de la Sirena. To Naples. To Naples. Napoli is uh, by the sea as well, by the Mediterranean Sea, so it's always full of uh, seafood here as well. So we got a popo misto, which is um, a, a mix of uh, fried fish to have with our drink um, before we go to dinner. You have to eat the whole thing, the tail, or the fin, I should say, the head, mm -hmm. in one go. Mm -hmm. And everything is um, edible, so even with the shrimp, because it's, yeah. it's fried. Mm. 
So we came to uh, Trattoria da Nenella uh, because our friends from uh, Naples recommended. And you cannot imagine what we're dealing with, but I think that it's a place worth <laughs> waiting for. We gave our name with Optimistic and hopefully they're gonna call us and we're gonna show you why this place is like this popular. <laughs> I ordered mezze paccheri with alla genovese, which is meat with onion. Mm. It's really, really good. And um, the drink that we got is this no name red wine, which is really good. And you can, it goes in very easily, you know what that means. It's always dangerous when it goes in easily. I waited a second because it was boiling hot. Now I can't wait to try it and taste it. I never had it like this before. It's so creamy and smoky. Wow. One of the typical traditional Napolitan breakfasts is the sfogliatelle and today we order crunchy sfogliatella and soft sfogliatella. We are at Scaturchio, uh, a place that started in 1905 in Piazza San Domenico Maggiore. Sfogliatella is a pastry filled with ricotta cheese and candied fruits, as per Napolitan tradition. Mm. Wow. It's delicious. Mmm. Fantastic.